From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. This episode is brought to you by the audiobook True Tales of Haunted Places by G. Michael Vasey, narrated by Darren Marlar. Hear a free sample at MarlarHouse.com. Walmart has apologized for a gun display urging customers to own the school year like a hero. The display drew such a negative response that the company spent a full day repeatedly apologizing to outraged tweeters. Now, while I do agree this display is completely inappropriate, we don't need to make it a norm to apologize to outraged tweeters. If we did that, the country would get nothing done and eventually we would crumble 140 characters at a time. 68-year-old wrestling legend and WWE Hall of Famer Ric Flair has been hospitalized and admitted to an intensive care unit in Georgia. Coverage of Ric's battle in the ICU will continue this weekend on cable pay-per-view! <laughs> Just kidding, Rick. I'm sorry. We wish you all the best and get well soon. In Texas, a guy with a gun went into a convenience store and demanded money. And he was given money. He told the clerk to open the safe. The clerk said he could not open the safe so he demanded two lottery tickets and some smokes. Well, the clerk gave the man a pack of smokes and an entire roll of lottery tickets, but the robber took just two. Police caught up with him a short time later. And, you know, by only taking two lottery tickets, I'm going to bet he did not win enough money to post bail. In Virginia, someone broke into a man's apartment, cleaned it, and took nothing. Completely cleaned the place. Where are these criminals? And would somebody please give them my address? Cynthia Nixon of Sex and the City fame is reportedly thinking of running for governor of New York. Although, if she plans to jump into politics, I would suggest changing her name to something other than Nixon. Pope Francis has warned Christians not to put their trust in horoscopes. Eh, well, what else do you expect from a Sagittarius? Daryl Hamilton Jr. decided to propose to his girlfriend, Rihanna Lopez, on a recent plane ride over Fresno, California, where the fruit trees had started blossoming. Hamilton is seen on video showing Lopez the ring and asking, ''Will you marry me?'' But seconds later, he succumbs to motion sickness from the flight and throws up on the floor of the plane. Yeah, the kind of cheesy romantic stuff that makes me sick too. The white Ford Bronco used in the O.J. Simpson's slow speed chase is up for sale. Low miles, not driven very fast, very, very, very clean. Halloween is still more than two months away, but that did not deter three people from putting on costumes to shoplift at a Pennsylvania Walmart. One man was dressed as a bull, one as a werewolf, and a third as a gorilla. They stole more than $560 in merchandise, but they were caught. They tried to blame it on the bull market, calling it guerrilla marketing, but police weren't liking that explanation. Down in Orlando, Florida, a couple was injured while transporting a barbecue grill in their SUV. That's because they had the grill in the back of their Kia Sorento and it was turned on, with the propane tank wide open and connected. When the wife lit a cigarette, I'll let you guess what happened next. Okay, I'll tell you. The SUV exploded and the couple was burned, but fortunately their injuries were non-life-threatening. The life of the SUV, on the other hand, is over. Police in Crestview, Florida have arrested 32-year-old Matthew Horace Jones, who allegedly caused more than $100,000 in damage to a liquor store under construction at the Crestview Walmart and to construction equipment. He reportedly used a forklift to damage the building under construction after breaking into the fenced-in construction site. The building under construction was completely destroyed along with a city fire hydrant and water meter. When police arrived, Jones aimed the forklift toward officers who stopped him at gunpoint. Jones then told the officers his name was Alice Wonderland and that he was told to commit the offenses by a hookah-smoking caterpillar. He also told detectives that he had a problem with Walmart building a place to sell alcohol. Well, it may not be alcohol, but this guy was definitely on something. A warning has been issued for a chemical found in hand sanitizers. So, after you use a hand sanitizer, remember to always wash your hands. A California man allegedly broke into a woman's home and fell asleep on her couch naked. That doesn't say it here, but I'm going to take a wild guess and say that alcohol was involved. Cole White lives in Berkeley, California, but apparently he felt it was important enough to travel all the way across the country 
so he could participate in the white nationalist protests in Charlottesville, Virginia. Well, I hope it was worth it. He now will not have a job when he gets home. The top dog hot dog chain fired White. Yes, his name is kind of uh, ironic, isn't it? Uh, they fired him after he was identified on social media as one of the white nationalist protesters. Top Dog issued a statement reading, Effective Saturday, 12th August, Cole White no longer works at Top Dog. The actions of those in Charlottesville are not supported by Top Dog. We believe in individual freedom and voluntary association for everyone." Unquote. Now, White was one of several protesters identified by the Twitter account Yes, You're Racist after users were asked to name people in photos from the Charlottesville rallies. So, can they legally fire him? Well, one legal analyst says yes and explains that the First Amendment only protects you from actions by the government based on your speech. It doesn't protect you from actions by your private employer. She says it's also not a discrimination issue because going to a rally like Charlottesville doesn't make you a member of a protected class. The singer The Weeknd is reportedly considering changing his name. Maybe this time he can choose a name he knows how to spell. A study says yellow taxi cabs have significantly fewer accidents than cabs of a darker color because the yellow cabs are more visible. This study brought to you by the Center for Studying the Obvious. A Russian spy plane was spotted recently over New Jersey, so we know they didn't see anything of consequence. A secret elite section of Tinder has been running for at least six months. Now, if this is the first you've heard of that, you are not one of the elite. Tinder Select is by invite only, and it's aimed at CEOs, supermodels, and other hyper-attractive slash upwardly affluent types. So, in other words, all the uppity, conceited people you would be miserable dating anyway. Scandal and Grey's Anatomy creator Shonda Rhimes has signed a deal with Netflix to produce some shows for them. First up, Anatomy of a Scandal. If you're already an official weirdo, please share this video on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, and other social media to help get the word out. If you'd like to become an official weirdo, simply click that subscribe button and notification bell. And while you're at it, click that like button to let the world know that you're a weirdo.